Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to make a little video here to talk about a topic that I think is important to me. Um, keep in mind, you know, I'm just a layman, you know, I don't have like a film theory degree or anything. But I feel like most critics are that anyway, so really I'm just as qualified to talk about this as any old critic who pretends that they're super qualified, you know what I mean? Now, I do think there are people out there like The Closer Look who are really, really intelligent and like they make really good movie criticisms. And I could just never compete with that. But I do have certain nitpicks and gripes that I have. And I usually like to make positive videos. Well, I mean, I like to watch at least positive videos, right? I, I prefer to, um, you know, talk about what's good about something rather than what sucks about something. I think that's more positive. Uh, but I kind of want to flip the script for a minute because I think that we uh, have maybe been kind of snubbing movies that are good while also praising movies that really aren't good, right? There, there's kind of a disconnect of like pretentiousness in movies that I, there are certain things that appeal to uh, like the Academy Awards that um, I don't think actually make the movie better. And I've written out a list here of things that I think are flaws with uh, several Academy Award movies that I think actually made them less enjoyable than just regular movies. Okay, uh, the first thing that bothers me about all of these like so-called amazing movies is that I constantly see movies use black and white uh, when it's completely unnecessary. Okay? They just throw in black and white as if that makes their movie artistic just because it's in black and white. Right? And then they'll always pull a reveal as if they're the first person to ever think of doing this. Of like, oh, now it's going to turn into color. Right? It's black and white. Now it's color at this part. It's like, wow, I haven't seen that uh, ever before, except for maybe like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's literally the oldest trick in the book. And it's so overplayed and it doesn't actually make your movie seem artistic. It's just annoying that we have to watch part of the movie in black and white. Right? It, unless it literally makes me feel like I'm in the 40s, you know, like I'm watching a film noir and I really enjoy the black and white, um, then I think it's completely unnecessary and it detracts from the movie. Okay, uh, here's another thing that I always notice uh, pretentious movies do is they will like reference a old movie within the movie. Right? They'll be like, oh, do you know how this movie ended, The Graduate ended like this? And they'll just like pull out a movie reference in the middle of their movie, right? As if like that makes your movie as good as that old movie. You know what I mean? It's like, our movie is great. It's on par with this old movie we're referencing. You know, it just seems hollow to me and it seems kind of uh, like pandering. You know what I mean? It, it almost seems like a trick to get us to think that this is like more enjoyable than it is. <laughs> uh, another thing I'll see is like, I'll see super obvious foreshadowing. Like the most obvious foreshadowing. People will be like, oh, okay, this is how the movie's going to end or whatever. And it's like, oh, what did they mean? And it's like, I I'm kind of sick of that one. Right? If you're going to foreshadow, I should look back on it and be like, oh, that was clever foreshadowing. You know, not like heavy handed foreshadowing. Um, another thing that bothers me is that I see like movies that get nominated are constantly about show business in some way. Right? It's like there's always at least one movie that's nominated that's like about the struggle of show business. Right? And it's like movie critics and Academy Award voters and stuff care about that, right? The average person doesn't really care about like the show business industry. Right? We're, we're completely disconnected from that, right? And it's like show business is shown as like this wonderful but like 
hard, like harsh world, and it's like beautiful and fun and like vibrant. It's like, but like the working world is like dark and depressing and like horrible. And it's like, I don't know. There's just some kind of like elitism there that I like. I see a little bit. You know what I mean? And I don't want to name specific movies because I don't want to get into any debates. But I've seen several of these movies that are like they're about like you know dating and show business and like it's just like I don't know man I don't really care about like you know <laughs> seeing the same like celebrity celebrities trotting out over and over like look at the movies good because it has these like Bradley Coopers in it or whatever you know what I mean like I really don't care you know what I mean who's in it as long as the movie is good right just putting like the same sort of like nominee like nominated actors in this movie over and over and over like doesn't make the movie good it just makes the movie like a circle jerk for the same actors you know what i mean uh okay i i think a lot of these movies uh feel like they really love their own camera work like this camera look at how great this camera work is right there are times when i get impressed with camera work in like tv shows that aren't trying so hard to have to like show off you know what i mean they're they're doing it to be good and you don't actually notice the camera work but if you do pay attention it's really good right that's how good camera work should be but in oscar nominees it's never like that Right, the way it is is it's like uh, the camera work is literally showing off to where you can't not notice the camera work because it's so in your face and over the top, and it's like we're lingering on like a mountain for like fucking way too long, right? Or we have like this tilted shot that's like way over exaggerated and way noticeable and way immersion breaking because it's like oh we're you know we're pushing the boundaries here you know what i mean but it's like i don't know man like i think it's just like camera porn at some point you know what i mean it's just camera porn i, I think we should oh, shy away from camera porn but i also think we should try unique and interesting stuff right make it make it interesting and unique in a way that is entertaining not in a way that's like boring and hurts the movie right because we're looking at like some beautiful mountainscape it's like i'm not here to watch planet earth you know what i mean i'm not here to listen to david attenborough talk about like the the wind and the trees and the leaves i'm here to pay attention to the story you know okay uh now this is another one that bothers me uh i feel like a lot of these people who make these movies feel like slow pacing like let's slow down the pacing way down um and that makes it somehow serious you know what i mean like we're talking about a serious topic so we have to make a really slowly paced boring movie right and if it's boring that must mean that it's really deep you know what i mean because you wouldn't be bored if these weren't heavy topics don't you know that when you think about like poverty if you're really bored so of course you're going to be bored watching a movie about poverty that's not necessarily the case it doesn't have to be boring it doesn't have to be slow it doesn't have to be tedious just because we're talking about serious heavy issues right look at the barbie movie that was talking about gender which is actually a serious issue if you think about it right but at the same time it was fun it was lighthearted. it could appeal to children it could appeal to mothers you know it could appeal to men it could appeal to everyone because it's entertaining and fun while talking about these issues Okay, and that brings me to my next issue, which is, um, well, there's just sort of like a, a bias towards like center left liberalism. You know what I mean? Like, rather than like progressive or like subversive uh, topics, right? We're just going about with like a kind of a like establishment, uh, you know. Uh, center left instead of you know actually like progressive left you know 
Um, and I, I don't know why I see that uh, or why I get those vibes sometimes, but I definitely do get those vibes, right? It is just, it's a weird thing where it's like, we're not really willing to go all in and address the actual issue. Right? We're not willing to uh, challenge the status quo in any way. Right? And we will literally, you know, like snub Brokeback Mountain to promote Crash, you know what I mean? It, or like uh, Green Ma- what, the Green Book, Green Book, yeah, I think that's what it's called. That one winning or whatever, like all of these, um, or Spike Lee's uh, the right, do the right thing, not winning, right? There's so many instances where it's like, oh, well, this is kind like we like the status quo, right? The fact that people live in like huge, like uh, unequal distribution of wealth. Well, we're Hollywood, right? We are on the top of that ladder. So we like it, actually. You know what I mean? And then, you know, Spike Lee's do the right thing doesn't get the award when it honestly is one of the best movies ever made, right? Incredibly, in- incredibly deserved. It. Okay, and that brings me to my next point, which is that, uh, like, they, they, just, they consider, like, fun to be a disqualifying factor. Like, if a movie is fun, that must mean it's bad, right? It's trash. It's for the common trash person, right? Like, when was the last time you saw something like Jurassic Park get nominated? Right? Well, you know, you may say, oh, well, Jurassic Park, that's not a... That doesn't deserve to be a, a nominee, does it? Are you sure about that? Think about all the irrelevant movies that were nominated Oscar nominee, right? That we don't even know the name of anymore because they're really garbage. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of garbage films that were nominated because they're kind of like just pretentious, right? Because of all the min- reasons I mentioned earlier, right? But yet movies like Jurassic Park or like, uh, you know, Indiana Jones or Star Wars or any of those kinds of movies do not win and they do not get nominated, right? Because why? I don't know, right? Because they are way more culturally impactful, right? And then when you actually think about the way the movie is made, it's actually probably a better made movie than most of the nominees. And if you actually think about the message of a movie like Jurassic Park, right, which talks about actual serious topics like cloning, right, like manipulating nature and playing God with nature, right, that's actually a serious issue. And the fact that you didn't notice that this movie is talking about a serious issue just is a testament to how good the movie is that it's still entertaining without preaching down your throat about the issue so all you're thinking about is what the message is and not how much fun you're having watching the movie right fun is not disqualifying it helps it doesn't distract from the message it amplifies it okay guys that's my little rant about movies uh thank you bye